What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the MB102 breadboard power supply to power device. Today, we'll quickly be powering the Raspberry Pi Pico W using this. As you know, with this module, you can connect it to a breadboard and input a DC cable into this port right here, which will provide power along the rails of the breadboard and to other pins on this device. So it's pretty handy. And what we'll be doing today is we'll be switching it to five volts, as you could see on the left there. So it does have a header here where you can actually change the voltage of the the voltage applied to the power rails because in some instances you want to provide 3.3 volts to some pieces of electronics that take 3.3 so you do not damage them so that's pretty cool you can see i changed it there already to 5 volts that is the input to the pico w and what's nice is you can also do the other side as well so you can connect the other side of the power rail to a separate voltage right now i just have it off because i'm not going to be using it and you also have additional headers in the middle that you can use for powering other electronics so pretty handy and incredibly simple to use so to use it right away just snap it into the breadboard so it comes compatible with the size of most breadboards you can see I snapped it in right away and I have my pins here so the positive pin is connected to pin 39 on the Raspberry Pi Pico W negative connected to 38 and I already have code pre-flashed on my Raspberry Pi so this code is on the main.py file on my Raspberry Pi for those of you guys who don't know code that is on your main.py file on the Raspberry Pi Pico W will run automatically as soon as your device is turned on and that code today will just flash the LED I'll link that code in the description down below but once we power on this MB102 and it powers the Raspberry Pi we should see the LED start to blink so I'm just going to take this DC cable I have it's running from my computer Sorry about that, but it is running from my computer. Ideally, this module is used to be standalone from your computer, so you can plug in the other end of this DC power supply to a battery, and this will allow your whole setup to be separate from a computer, which is why this module is used. So you can see it's plugged in, nothing is happening, but we just want to press the power, as you can see here. And once the power is applied, you can see my main.py file is running on my Raspberry Pi PW, and it looks like it's working as expected. So overall, really simple module, incredibly useful for standalone applications, and I hope you got the gist of it, and I hope you got it working.